Welcome everybody to a neutral perspective. Arsenal are in a panic mode. Arteta is seriously in a panic mode because Arsenal lost 1-0 to Newcastle United at St. James' Park. Arsenal. This isn't the same Arsenal we've seen from the last two seasons. This isn't the same Arsenal that can, can give the excitement for the Gunners, the fans who, who watch Arsenal today, is just lacked creativity, didn't do that much. Zach was their best attacking player. But, you know, Livermento outsmarted Martinelli. He put the pressure on Martinelli. He, Martin, Martinelli wants to create chances, but Martin, Livermento is saying no. You shall not pass. You shall not pass. And that's just giving Arteta panic. It stressed him out today. You can see in his in the away dugout that Arteta is in a mess. Today it was just panic mode. It's just one of those games where you, you panic too much. Arsenal didn't have that much shots on target. Newcastle was dumb, was one of a heck of a team. Anthony Gordon, man of the match, one of the one of the best players on the pitch, done his job, done the done what is needed. You know, the set piece coach of Newcastle has done a better job. Today, the Arsenal set piece coach, Isaac Skull, you know, from in his, you know, I think he's back from injury from last week. He, um, he played against Chelsea, but he definitely saved Newcastle. Newcastle was just done what is right, defended really well. They pushed on as a team. They bullied Arsenal. Arsenal was just like one of those things where you know when you go to school and you and you have a bully and you and then the bully say, Oh, give me your money, give me your money. That's what Newcastle was. was. They bullied Arsenal. They made Arsenal a train wreck. Arsenal was just like didn't do that much. They they most of the plan for Arsenal was just that cross the ball to the left, cross the ball to the left, cross the ball to the left. They didn't, they just trying to find the left winger, but then Pope saved the day again. He's, he's just, he took his anger after losing to Chelsea, after losing to Brighton, not winning a match since Wolves. He pushed on. How is an underrated manager? People don't give respect to how compared to Guardiola, Arteta, and Maresca. People don't give respect to how that much compared to the the big six managers because Newcastle is not a big six team. If Howe was a manager at a big six team, he would have been appreciated more, but he doesn't get the credit that he's given. Is that Emery? Emery doesn't give get enough credit for what he's done for Villa. People talk about Guardiola a lot, Arteta more, but not not many people think, "Wow, look at what Emery's doing!" Champions League to, from Arsenal done so much for uh, for so, for Aston Villa. But you know, Arsenal. Arsenal Train wreck. Emery train wreck for things at Arsenal. When he went to Villa, he experienced more than what he can give to Villa. And this is what Howe's doing. How was that? Bournemouth, people don't give um, Howe credit for what he's done for Bournemouth as a player and a manager. Now when he went to Newcastle, Back, he went to get Champions League. So, how is one of the managers that you can't, that you just, you don't get that much respect for? And that's just really sad because how 
is just a sensational manager to use to play as a Newcastle fan. Fan, they should be happy. Arsenal, no, you, um, they lost to Bournemouth. They it's just a failure. I mean, they've yes, they've got injuries like Tommy Asu. They've got no. They've got no. Um, Odegaard kind of feel is out, but like you know, this is what people experience. This is what people are thinking. You know, this is when Man, Man City's got injury crisis. West Ham's got in. Um, they've got their best, their number one striker four quid out for a long time. This is what managers um have problems with. They've got problems with. Injury crisis. Liverpool's got injury crisis as well. So I don't. I'm not a big fan when people use in injury crisis as an excuse for their lack of creativity. I think Arsenal could have bought another CEM. Yes, yes. They've got Odegaard, but Odegaard is just is one of is one of a kind. They need a backup CEM. Arsenal need a striker. That Hayes, this is an okay striker to use, but he's more of a, well, he's not as good as a striker that he, went, that he would be picked as a first team. Arsenal need to, but, I mean, just in case Havertz, Havertz could get, Havertz could get, in a scenario where Havertz could get injured, at the same time the Odegaard's injured, and you, then you have to think, okay, if Havertz is injured, then what? Then you know, there's no creativity in the front. It's just something that Arteta needs to think of right now because, like, there's the transfer window that you could have bought two extra players to buy to buy as backup players. But again, it's not as one of those things where every team face. For I think like 14, 15, 15, no, 14, 15 season, we've had no, we've had no Sacco and, uh, and Valencia. We've had two strikers in that season that got injured. So we played some of the Premier League games in the 14, 15 season, 10 years ago, with no striker, but we still survived. We've... Man City, they've got so many injuries, but you know what the problem is? is that the problem is, is that because Man City have got a rich owners, the Sheiks, they've got they they can afford to buy players. They can afford to buy um backup players, but teams that that don't have rich owners, they they struggle with with um. To, to spending cap, they struggle because of the new FFP line. So I think the whole Arsenal should have, uh, the technical director of Arsenal should have thought, okay, we we lost the title race twice. We need to push forward. Newcastle, right now, they're in the right mind. They've got the, the what they wanted. They could fight for anything with Newcastle. But I just think Newcastle's defence is needs to improve. I think now Arsenal has got Inter Milan, Chelsea, Forest, West Ham on the next five six fixtures. I think now because now you know when the whole Champions League um, format being changed. You're playing more games than you are supposed to be, but the thing is, when you're playing as you know, champ, you know, even before this, before the format changed, when they had that the group stage, this is what happens. Teams, this is what you have to expect. But you have to play week in, week out. So I, I think the Arsenal just panicked today. They didn't really. Um, done that much that would people would say, "Wow, they can actually score goals." This is and they and most of the time, 
it was just full of foul, fouls and fouls. So I I did not feel sorry for Arsenal for um, being in their panic mode because Arteta is an experienced manager for Arsenal. He should have sorted out this panic ages ago. So unfortunately, Arsenal, Arsenal didn't get what they needed. So, so Arteta, get this idea of panic mode out of your system. Because you've got Inter Milan, you've got Chelsea, you've got tough teams to play. Get your head in the game and do something about it. Thanks guys for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Um, the next video is Nottingham Forest versus West Ham Ham on TV. Then Sunday is the Villa versus Tottenham review for on Hate Review. And then the neutral perspective will be um, United versus Chelsea at Old Trafford. Ruth, Ruth's first manager of the game as a um, United interim coach. Peace. I'm out. Come on, you guys.